Hello everybody and welcome back to my channel. My name is Anara, I'm a photographer and graphic designer and today we're gonna be editing images of King Gizzard and Lizard Wizard that I shot in Prague a couple of weeks ago while they were on European tour. I got this opportunity through my friend Jack, to whom I did a, an album cover back in Australia. Thank you Jack, once again, that was a dream come true. I wanted to shoot King Gizzard for probably four years. I first time heard them in the car back in Lithuania. I remember the song was Rattlesnake. I never shot them before and that was a massive dream of mine. It feels a little bit like I finished university because, you know, all of the work that I did up until this point is that led me to be there at that gig. It was nice because I didn't feel uncomfortable right before the gig. Uh, while I was waiting in the pit, Stu came up to me and gave me a all access pass, which uh, gave me opportunity to get on a stage while they were performing. He gave it to me and he's like, do whatever you want. They can't kick you out. And I was like, is it for free songs on? He's like, no, 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 for all the gig, have fun. And I just sat there holding it, looking to the distance for like five minutes. That feeling was insane. You know, I've been working for it for four years and it happened. I don't want to be annoying, so I don't want to get on the stage too often. But uh, I remember getting on it and going to the very back. I always stay next to drummers because they're furthest away and you can hide behind the speakers and, you know, gear. And Cavs was just drumming away. I've been watching the live shows, I watched the movie. It felt like I knew the choreography on the stage just because I've been watching them for so long. They're my favorite band. And that was amazing. That was so, so incredible. Definitely one of the best points in my life. Those two hours. So I thought that, you know, it'd be nice if I edit a couple of images with you. I, as usual, already selected my favorite ones. I actually have already edited the majority of it, but I have a couple left. It's spring in Lithuania, finally. After, what, what was it? November, December, January, February. After four, four months of darkness and cold. It wasn't too terrible, not too freezing, but during January we had only five hours in total of sun. So having the light, seeing the blue skies and the sun. <sighs> there is eight images here that I haven't edited. No, I edited these so we can move them, shall we? Ah, uh, these two. Ah, okay, I edited everything. Anyways, what about these? What's this? Maybe we should just look through all of them. Okay, so I have shots of the crowd and I really wanted to edit them. But because the lights were so bright, most of them are... This is the stage! So I want to merge them and I'll show you how I do it. Let's see. I will start with camera raw as usual. Oh, I could just use this one, but no, I'll, I'll merge. Oh yeah, I could. That's why it's good to shoot on RAW, because you can recover a lot of information. But I want like this clarity, and here you can't, like there's nothing, it's burnt. Drag these and close these files and see what we have. I like this, but it might be difficult to merge these. Maybe not. Not that hard, I just need to change the color. Oh, insane how these things happen. Oh no, hello? I don't know, this looks pretty good already. Now what we can do, let's stick you know, into this crowd here. Okay, and then the brush. My brush, I can just do a little bit of this. Not bad. 
and now we can go on with color correcting I've been off Instagram for a little while I have this weird relationship with it I don't like it I don't like being on Instagram I don't like watching reels I mean I don't like it because I like it <laughs> but it makes my brain feel like a swamp like this just very heavy and dark and i have to control myself by deleting the app off my phone and downloading whenever i need to post something so i stopped being on it that often however i decided that i need to be i need to share things more often than once a week so it's quite difficult what colors do we want? Let's put an ooh. Hmm. Maybe pink and green is one that I haven't used much. But do I like this green? This green I do not like. So let's go to color balance. I've been uh, writing a Photoshop course, which I'm planning to release in a couple of months. So keep an eye for that. It's been an interesting process because you know how I, like I do most of the things out of the feel. I don't really know what those tools are meant for, but for the course I wanna learn and I've been discovering some things. For example, oh, I'll show you. I don't think it's gonna work on this, but we can try. There is this tool here, sky replacement. And I wondered why the hell would Photoshop make such a specific tool? Should we use it now? You can select from the skies. I think you can upload yours, like a rainbow. It's random, so random. Oh, this looks cool. Shift edge, no, oh, no. Yeah, I like this. Fade edge? Yeah. Brightness. Blue or yellow? Maybe a little bit of this. Scale? Okay. This or this? No, I think this is better. It feels like this uh, area works better with this. It like balances it. This is how I discover new tools and how to work with them. I just drag those, these things and see what they do. This doesn't do anything, it seems so. Okay, okay, that's how they do it. Sky replacement group. Interesting, very interesting. I have more tools here to play with. I can adjust the color a little bit better. I don't like this uh, open part, so I'll try to... What the fuck was that? It looks a little bit strange, but but I do enjoy it. I do like it. And now we're gonna go onto the onto the textures. My favorite textures. I want a little bit different color. I don't know if I like this green. Maybe this would look better. I want to experiment with different colors. You know, get out of my comfort zone. But the other colors don't feel as powerful. There's something about them that don't work that well. Oh, hmm. I like blue. What about this magenta? Magenta mountain? Do you reckon it would be better if I crop the bottom to this? And now let's see if we don't have the sky. Mm. Let's keep the sky. It's pretty funky. I like it. These colors. <laughs> mm, I haven't finished with the textures, so let's add some more. Mm, I want to go outside and be in the sun. In a couple of weeks, I'll be going to Greece with my cousin to go climbing again. And it's it's funny because last year when I went to Spain climb, I realized that I'm afraid of heights. Every time I would get on the voila, I would. Uh, mm, 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 mm. I enjoy being on the ground. I prefer the ground. It is safe. And it's strange because you realize as you get older that you're more and more afraid of the things that are dangerous. Because I value this life and if I, you know, get injured, it'll take me a while to recover 
and uh, I won't be able to do certain things and I don't want to get injured so I don't want to risk and I'd rather stay in my comfort zone and I've been getting this fear of flying with planes which is another strange fear I've been flying a lot but every time there is turbulence or we are taking off or landing just thinking that I do not like this. I do not like how the plane is wobbling. But I think it's important to, you know, you accept the fear, you realize that it it exists and you still do it. And then what does the fear do? It doesn't limit you. It is just a feeling. So, I can feel the fear, but it doesn't stop me, which is I think good. It would be sad if the fear would be stopping me. Hey, whenever I'm not thinking, I do something that works. I am happy with this. Bah. Nice. I think this is a beautiful shot. It will be one of my favorites from the show. This was a short one, but I wanted to show you that you can merge images together and, uh, you know, create the things that do not exist in the image, in one photo. Well, it does exist, it is real, it's just two moments, three moments merged together to create a beautiful memory. It's like a video in a shot, because there are multiple shots. That's it for today. What else is there to say? I hope to see you soon. Like, share, subscribe and see you in the next video. Happy spring or autumn if you're in Australia. Bye!